raining outside. I don't know if you can hear the sound. It's beautiful. But when I was going through my comments, I found a comment. What is the difference in the levels of these four houses? The second, sixth, <laughs> tenth, and eleventh. <laughs> these four houses, these four houses are houses of wealth, you know, name, fame, power, position, authority. But what is the difference? They all look the same, right? Every house among these four can give you name, fame, power, position, wealth, etc. But what's the difference? Is the difference in the level? Is it that? Is it that simple? Well, yes and no. So that's exactly what we are going to discuss today because you can use this in two places when dashas are appearing and when transits are appearing. So for example, if you have a dasha of a planet in the second or second lord, then you know what can happen. Okay. Or in the 11th, what can happen? Now, the second house, 6th house, 10th house, 11th house, among these four, the three houses, 2, 6, 10, these are the artha houses. So these are houses of wealth. Now, wealth means uh, money, it can be, you know, assets, resources, connections, all this. Okay. Not just money, not just bank balance. Okay can be influence, affluence, whatever you call. So, and the 11th house is the labhasthan. So, it is the gain. So, it's the gain of every other house. So, it is also the house of wealth because wealth is a very prominent gain. So, now, among the four, the second house is the least powerful. What is the second house? The second house is the house of food. So, if your second house is activated, you might get a job which Pays for your bills, roti, kapra, makan, food, clothing, and shelter. So it can represent things which can uh, give you that much by which you can sustain your livelihood. You don't go bankrupt. You don't have to. You don't have to beg to anybody. All right, that's the second house. And then we have the sixth house. What is sixth house? Sixth house represents things which you get at par your level. As per your professional knowledge, skill, education and all this. It's the standard good job. <clears throat> like in India, uh, if you do, you know, engineering and you get an IT job. So, it's like saying your sixth house is activated because you get how much? Like 25, 30,000 rupees maybe. And then you can have a decent life as a bachelor and, you know, you can have some savings. You can, you know, eat outside a few times. It's That's all. But it's a bit above average, okay? Uh, you can do more than just eating. Okay, you can also, uh, you can also, you know, enjoy. You can roam. You can go here, there to some limit. But it is as per your skill. Okay, now the tenth house represents things which are above your current level. What does this mean? It means if the tenth house is active, you will get such a responsibility for which you are not yet qualified. So what does this mean? This means it is a potential to uplift yourself. And that is why 10th house is the house of status. So what does it mean? It's the house of status. It's actually not the house of status in general. Every house shows your status. Like for example, the fourth house, if you buy, you know, property or something like that, also people say, oh, wow, wow, wow great. You know, your status increases in society. If you buy a good car, your status increases. If you become... Uh, more attractive then your status increases so why is it that the only the 10th house is the is called as the house of status because it is a chance to elevate your status through skill and you know by taking some leadership uh, role so the 10th house is leadership role which means if you want that the 10th house should be activated you have to take some leadership role you have to come to the front not back <laughs> all right so come to the front go and take some lead role go and take some opportunity by which you can contribute to a organization the 10th house is where the sun is at its peak at the noon time so what does this mean sun is at the peak it means you are able to see things from the top so for example if you are into it suppose because i am into it so i can speak for it but it's applicable to every other domain. So suppose you are a software developer. You are, you know, writing code using chat GPT <laughs> or using any other software or your brain. 
and then you know you are in front end or back end you are pushing the code you are committing it what not you are doing uh, and then the 10,000 is activated so now if 10,000 is activated you will get the role of a manager or a senior developer so in that what will happen is you have to you will have to see the code and you will also have to see what other people are doing so it's like you are seeing from the top so in that you may have to you might have to develop some machine learning experience you might if you are back end you might need some front end experience you might need uh, to have consulting experience you might have to consult the stakeholders clients for you know the requirements requirements gathering requirements engineering and then you might also need marketing knowledge marketing skills sales advertising you know all this because you have to sell your product okay you might have or you might have to talk with the sales team and then they will tell you our product should look like this so you also have to think from a sales perspective so you have to think big basically okay so that is why it is the house of leadership because it is like you are doing the work of five people now you are not doing any work you are actually putting people in their place okay not in a derogatory sense putting people in their place <laughs> You are putting people as uh, in their best capacity. You are a manager basically. You are managing people. You are allotting people to their right skills. And that is how you are developing a team. So the 10th house shows your capacity to form a team basically. And the 11th house is a very peculiar house. It shows all of these things. Uh money to eat uh, money from your skills money from your leadership roles and it shows one extra thing which takes it to the next level which is networking so if the 11th house is activated you might get some very big opportunity but it could be a situation where uh, it's like saying you know you uh, you get a big contact through some network okay and when that happens what what happens is you progress three, four levels up. So the 11th house can give you things which would have required 10 years in one year. So it can help you bypass 10 years or maybe five years. Depending on the planet and depending on the strength of the planet. If the planet is very strong, you can bypass 20 years. You can become a vice president when you are 28, 29. It can happen. You can become like a CEO when you are 35. Okay, it can happen. So therefore, you need to understand that these are phenomenal placements to have uh, provided you can actually understand how to use this. So that means now when you are doing uh, giving a consultation to somebody and if their 11th house is activated, you should tell them, you know, go to networking events, you know, try to find people, try to aim very big basically. If your 10th house is activated, then you should tell the client, Okay, try for something big, you know, or try to become a manager or try to do MBA or something like that. If the sixth house is active, you can tell them, okay, try and look for a job which is within your salary range, maybe 10, 20% better or something like that. And if the second house is active, you can tell them, look for any job which pays your bills. <laughs> all right, so I hope this makes things clear and this clearly tells you the difference between all these four houses. So use these four houses. And among the best, of course, the 10th and the 11th are the most, uh, they're, they're the strongest, they're the best houses among the four, okay? But that does not mean the other two are inferior, okay? But it has a different flavor, the quality and quantity is different, but both, both the four, all the four houses are equally powerful to give you new job or better opportunities, all right? Thank you so much. Don't forget to share this video with somebody who is wanting to know what they should do in their career, all right? Thank you so much. Take care. Jai Siaram.